Hey guys, so just to give you a brief insight onto the um, positioning of the different poses of the head right now, I've kept the automatic interpolation for all the different pieces. So things don't look all that great. Pretty much right now what I've done is every 10 frames, I've created the different poses for the pieces uh, that were uh, the head tilts included inside of the design and I have all of these over here applied across the timeline. So I decided to split it for the rotation down and rotation up that we have right here. Um, I could have done as well the head tilt from down to up for the entire front head, down to up for the quarter front, down to up for the side and all the subsequent ones. Uh, but this works as well. You could have both as well inside of the timeline, but you can create those poses if it's going to help you access a greater variety of poses and really only if you need them. So uh, you could do the same thing with these heads here. Um, you could flip them over. If you don't want to have too long of a timeline, uh, you could actually just uh, keep those as it is and pretty much just flip the head and the drawings of the highlights when need be at the animation stage. Um, of course, before we do any of that, we need to make sure that we clean up these little things that are wrong with the poses. So same as the other ones, you would do the same process, key them, bake the keys into all of the poses of the head, and then adjust the little things that don't work so well. Um, if you want to test out how these poses are working with the rest of the body, you can always pretty much do the same thing as what we have here. So I could try, uh, just try out anywhere on the timeline, pasting one of those keyframes and perhaps using, um, I don't know, like the quarter front over here, see how these fare um, when keyframed together. So if I wanted to test out some of these poses, just see how they work in the auto interpolation. I could test them out just copying and pasting one anywhere on the timeline and pretty much uh, trying it out, let's say with the quarter front looking up and just see how well these interpolate from one pose to the other. Usually it will work pretty well. Um, so this is a good indicator for uh, things like the master controller or any other poses that you will try to interpolate uh, to get the best possible interpolation between those poses and anywhere where you can get something that good will be a good indicator that your 360 is working and that is going to be the most optimal thing uh, for creating the posing and the animation.